Robert Underwood Ayres born June 29, 1932, is an American-born physicist and economist. His career has focused on the application of physical ideas, especially the laws of thermodynamics, to economics, a long-standing pioneering interest in material flows and transformations industrial ecology or industrial metabolism, a concept which he originated. His most recent work challenges the widely held economic theory of growth. Topic: <laughs> Career. Trained as a physicist at the University of Chicago, University of Maryland, and King's College London PhD in mathematical physics, Ayers has dedicated his professional life to advancing the environment, technology and resource end of the sustainability agenda. His major research interests include technological change, environmental economics industrial metabolism and eco restructuring he has worked at the hudson institute 1962 to 67 resources for the future inc 1968 and international research and technology corp 1969 to 76 from 1979 until 1992 he was Professor of Engineering and Public Policy at Carnegie Mellon University, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, except for two years and six summers on leave at the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis IIASA in Laxenburg, Austria. In 1992 he moved to the International Business School INSEAD in Fontainebleau, France as Sandoz later Novartis Professor of Environment and Management. Since his formal retirement in 2000 he has been Jubilee Visiting Professor 2000-2001 and King Carl Gustav XVI Professor of Environmental Science 2004-2005 at Chalmers Institute of Technology Gothenburg Sweden. He is currently an Institute Scholar at IIASA. He remains an active researcher. He has written or co-authored 20 books, edited or co-edited another dozen books, written or co-authored more than 200 journal articles and book chapters not to mention many unpublished reports, on subjects ranging from environmental effects of nuclear war to theoretical economics. But most of his life work is interdisciplinary. He was a pioneer of a new field, sometimes called industrial metabolism or industrial ecology. He has contributed to futures studies, technological forecasting, transportation and energy studies, material flow studies, backquote dematerialization, environmental technology, environmental economics, thermodynamics and economics, and the theory of economic growth. Here taken from one of his recent papers are two paragraphs that provide a flavor of his recent work. Mainstream economics today is based to a large extent on bad ideas. Economic concepts, from foundational issues like markets, supply and demand and free trade, to money and finance, lack any systematic awareness of the physical process of production or the implications of the laws of thermodynamics for those processes. A corollary, almost worthy of being a separate bad idea on its own, is that energy doesn't matter much because the cost share of energy in the economy is so small that it can be ignored e.g. Denison, 1984 No. 6184. 
The so-called production functions used by all schools of economic thought that build growth models omit any necessary role for energy, as if output could be produced by labor and capital alone, or as if energy is merely a form of man-made capital that can be produced as opposed to extracted by labor and capital. The essential truth missing from economic education today is that energy is the stuff of the universe, that all matter is also a form of energy, and that the economic system is essentially a system for extracting, processing and transforming energy as resources into energy embodied in products and services. This is a thermodynamic process, as the Romanian economist Georgescu Rogan said half a century ago Georgescu Rogan 1971. The economic process is subject to both the first law of thermodynamics conservation of mass, energy, nothing can be created or destroyed and the second law of thermodynamics increasing entropy, all transformation processes are irreversible. The first law implies that the notion of consumption as applied to products is misleading. Material transformation processes unavoidably generate large quantities of material wastes or residuals. Ayres, 1969, number 284. Ayres, 1989, number 424. Some of those wastes are merely inconvenient but others are harmful or toxic. The second law says that energy becomes less useful exergy is destroyed by every action. There is much more to be said along these lines. Key publications reflecting these and some other important ideas are given in the bibliography below. Topic publications Nice, Alan V., Ayres, Robert U., Darge, Ralph C. 1970, Economics and the Environment, A Materials Balance Approach, Baltimore, Johns Hopkins Press Ayres, Robert U. 1979, Uncertain Futures, Challenges for Decision Makers, Wiley Ayres, Robert U., Miller, Stephen M. 1983. 3. Robotics, Applications and Social Implications, Ballinger Publishing Co. Ayres, Robert U. 1984, the Next Industrial Revolution, Reviving Industry Through Innovation, Ballinger Publishing Co. Ayres, Robert U. January 1988, Self-Organization in Biology and Economics PDF, Luxembourg, Austria, International Institute Institute for Applied Systems Analysis, retrieved 23 November 2010 Ayres, Robert U., Walter, Jerg, July 1991, The Greenhouse Effect. Damages, Costs, and Abatement PDF, Luxembourg, Austria, International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis, ISBN 3-7045-0108-5, retrieved of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U., February 1, 1992, Toxic Heavy Metals, Materials Cycle Optimization, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, 89, 3, 815-820, Bibcode, 1992PNAS, 815A, DOI, 10.1073, PNAS, 89.3.815, PMC 48332, Retrieved 23 November 2010 Ayres, Robert U., Dobrinsky, R., Hayward, W., Uno, K., Zuskovich, E. 1992, Computer Integrated Manufacturing 
restructuring, economic and social impacts, Chapman and Hall Ayres, Robert U. 1994, Information, Entropy and Progress, A New Evolutionary Paradigm, Woodbury, New York, American Institute of Physics, ISBN 0-88318-911-9, Retrieved 22 November 2010 Ayres, Robert U., Simonis, Udoe, Eds, 1994, Industrial Metabolism, Restructuring for Sustainable Development, Tokyo and New York, United Nations University Press, ISBN 92-808-0841-9, Retrieved 23 November 2010 Ayres, Robert U. November 1997, Metals Recycling, Economic and Environmental Implications PDF, Resources, Conservation and Recycling, 21, 3, 145 to 173, DOI 10.1016/S0921344997000033 5, archived from the original PDF on the 6th of July 2011 retrieved the 23rd of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U Weaver Paul M Eds 1998 eco restructuring implications for sustainable development Tokyo New York and Paris United Nations University Press ISBN 9280809 9, retrieved the 22nd of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U. May 1998, The Second Law, The Fourth Law, Recycling and Limits to Growth, PDF, INSEAD Working Paper, INSEAD's Center for the Management of Environmental Resources, retrieved the 23rd of November 2010 subsequently published June 1999. The Second Law, The Fourth Law, Recycling and Limits to Growth, Ecological Economics, 29, 3, 473-483, DOI, 10.1016, Turning Point, An End to the Growth Paradigm, London, Earthscan Publications, ISBN 1-85383-444-0, retrieved of November 2010. Paperback ISBN 1-85383-439-4 Ayres, Robert U., Ayres, Leslie W., 1999, Accounting for Resources, 2, The Life Cycle of Materials, Cheltenham, UK and Northampton, Massachusetts, Edward Elgar Publishing, ISBN 1-85898-923-X. Retrieved the 22nd of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U. Ayres, Leslie W. Eds 2002, A Handbook of Industrial Ecology, Cheltenham, UK and Northampton, Massachusetts, Edward Elgar Publishing, ISBN 1-84064-506-7, Retrieved the 22nd of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U. Ayres, Leslie W., War, Benjamin, 2002, Exegy, Power and Work in the U.S. Economy, 1900-1998, PDF, Working Paper, INSEAD's Center for the Management of Environmental Resources, CMER, retrieved the 22nd of November 2010 subsequently published March 2003. 3, Energy, Power and Work in the U.S. Economy, 1900-1998, Energy, 28, 3, 
219 to 273 DOI 10.1016 SO3604420200089 O Williams Eric D Ayres Robert U Heller Miriam 2002 The 1.7 kilogram microchip energy and material use in the production of semiconductor devices PDF, Environmental Science and Technology, 36 24 5504-5510, Bibcode, 2002 ENST, 36 5504W, DOI, 10.1021, SO256430, archived from the original PDF on 26 October 2012, retrieved of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U., Ayres, Leslie W., Raid, Ingrid 2003, The Life Cycle of Copper, Its Co-Equals Products and Byproducts, Eco-Efficiency in Industry and Science Series, Dordrecht, The Netherlands, Kluwer Academic Publishers, ISBN 1-4020-1552-6, retrieved of November 2010 Cleveland, Cutler J., Ayres, Robert U. 2004, Encyclopedia of Energy, Volume 1, Elsevier Academic Press Simpson, R. David, Toman, Michael A., Ayres, Robert U., Eds, 2005, Scarcity and Growth Revisited, Natural Resources and the Environment in the New Millennium, ISBN 1-933115-10-6, retrieved of November 2010. Paperback ISBN 1-933115-11-4 Ayres, Robert U., Martin Ass, Catalan 2005, On the Reappraisal of Microeconomics, Economic Growth and Change in a Material World, Cheltenham, UK and Northampton, Massachusetts, Edward Elgar Publishing, ISBN 1-84542-27 2, 4, retrieved the 22nd of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U., War, Benjamin 2005, Accounting for Growth, The Role of Physical Work PDF, Structural Change and Economic Dynamics, 16-181-209, DOI, 10.1016, JSTOR 2003 003, retrieved the 23rd of November 2010. Von Gleich, Arnhem, Ayres, Robert U. Gosling, Reiserman, Stefan, Eds. 2006. Sustainable Metals Management: Securing Our Future: Steps Towards a Closed-Loop Economy, Eco-Efficiency in Industry and Science Series. Dordrecht, The Netherlands: Springer. ISBN 1-402. 2004-0007-5, retrieved the 22nd of November 2010. Alternative ISBNs, 1, hardcover ISBN 978-1-4020-4007-8-2, 2, ebook ISBN 978-1-4020-4539-4 Ayres, Robert U. The 3rd of December 2009, Industrial Energy Efficiency Pays, Why Isn't It Happening? Presentation given full Semester 2009, Energy Science Center, retrieved the 23rd of November 2010. See Ayres Curriculum Vitae on this site at external links below. Ayres, Robert U. War, Benjamin, 2009, The Economic Growth Engine: How Energy and Work Drive Material Prosperity. Cheltenham, UK and Northampton, Massachusetts: Edward Elgar Publishing. 
Publishing, ISBN 978-1-84844-182-8, retrieved the 22nd of November 2010 Ayres, Robert U. Ayres, Edward H. 2010, Crossing the Energy Divide, Moving from Fossil Fuel Dependence to a Clean Energy Future, New Jersey, Wharton School Publishing, ISBN 0-13-701544-5, Retrieved the 22nd of November 2010. Alternative ISBN 978-0-13-701544-3.